Antibodies are proteins in our immune systems, which are essential in fighting viruses, bacteria, and toxins. We have billions of unique antibodies, allowing us to fight virtually any pathogen. billions of antibodies if we only have 30,000 genes. Don't worry, biology students. Feeding the combination is here. To start, let's look at the structure of an antibody. Antibodies are made of two identical protein chains called heavy chains and two identical protein chains called light chains. The bottom region of the antibody is unchanged across all antibodies. It's the top that's variable. Antibodies are like this tool. The bottom part is constant, but I can change the top to fit whatever nut or bolt, or in an antibody's case, whatever pathogen fragment, I need to. The DNA that encodes the variable regions of the heavy chains is arranged into different V or variable, D or diversity, and J or joining segments. In cells, enzymes called VDJ recombinases bind to any J segment and then join it with any D segment. Then the same enzymes join our new DJ segment with any random V segment. Here, I could have chosen any of these cards to be my V, any of these to be my D, and any of these to be my J. With these nine cards, I could have made 4 times 3 times 2, or 24 different combinations. Our cells have around 50 V segments, 30 D segments, and 6 J segments for the heavy chains of antibodies. That already gives us 9,000 different combinations for the heavy chains. Light chain DNA has V and J segments only. And there are also two types of light chains, lambda and kappa chains. Lambda chains can form 120 different light chains, and the kappa can form another 200 light chains. Combine all your possible heavy chains with all your possible light chains, and you have over 2.8 million possibilities for your antibodies. If you're still confused, think about antibody building like outfit choosing. Sure, you might only have three genes, your heavy chain, lambda chain, and kappa chain genes. But because those genes are split into segments, you can mix and match to create tons of antibodies. But I mentioned that we can make around 2.8 million antibodies. So how do we get from that to billions of antibodies? DNA is always mutating or changing, which creates even more variety in our antibodies. Ultimately, all those mutations let us make billions of different antibodies. And it's those billions of antibodies that help us fight pretty much any pathogen that enters our body. Now go ace those biology exams. <laughs>